Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid. And the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town. And uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight. All in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Yeah, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this a capacity crowd here well under normal circumstances this is a massive matchup and i'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away in my experience if the opposition go at it full tilt then you have to reciprocate we like to see excitement and be entertained but if it does go down the serious route there'll still be lots to enjoy So we're up and running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Kaladu Koulibaly. It's easy to just focus on the physical side of his game, Peter, because he's so powerful and quick, making it basically impossible for a forward to get the better of him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But there's more to his game. He reads the play extremely well and rarely gets caught out of position. And for me, just a complete all-round defender. I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Plays it out to the flank. Could cross it here. It's deflected over the goal line for a corner. And he's cut it out. Has a hit! Big moment! Massive goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. But for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. I doubt very much that this was in the script. Locatelli, Juventus are already chasing the game, long time to go. The only consolation at this stage is that they've got a lot of time on their side. You try to find... Has a hit! Crowd reaction tells you just how close that was. Rabiot nearly produced a moment of magic. He knew the strike was pure. And it's played forward. He's put it on the right now. What's on? Going through. Tries a shot! And yes, it's there! 
Juventus are level. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you'll take back again. Koulibaly. Moves it over to the other flank. Elmas, he's got away, gets a good foot in there. Pocatelli, midway through the first period and it's looking quite a game here. Sambo and Gisa did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Politano, Morata gets his foot in there. Rabio. And here's Morata. Morata gets it out to the wing. And here's Morata. Big chance! That's a half decent try. Good effort. Very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. wasn't very much in that far away from being a telling final ball uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution now it's Morata he's in Chiesa goal Juventus and the comeback is complete Juventus get themselves into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Ospina gets it upfield. Rabio. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Arthur, and here's Dybala. Fabian Ruiz positions himself well and cuts it out. Manolas. Sambo and Gisa. Two minutes to be added on. Here it comes. He completes it all the way. And we've reached half time. Juventus come roaring back in quite some style. We've got a very different game now. So we reach the halfway point. So I'm just thinking of the best way to describe that. Frantic, um, frenzy. It was unmissable and it was irresistible. Forget about the analysis on this one, just enjoy it. Juventus head into the half-time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. Here we go again. Koulibaly. Zielinski. 
needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Chiesa. And here's Morata. And here's Rabio. Now it's shot a goal! He scores! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. So the lead now is two. Listen, it's up to them now how they think about it from here, because for me it's crying out for them to force the issue. Zielinski tries to switch the play. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Politano. Locatelli. Morata is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful, but they have to give him a harder time like that. He's there to receive it. It's on a plate. He's gone for it. <laughs> the wrong outcome. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Napoli are making a change now. Now it's Dybala. Now it's Morata. Out to the left it goes. And here's Dybala. Hits one! Oh, that's a waste. Juventus just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Zielinski, across the field it goes. Politano, now it's Mertens. It's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Out to the right. Chiesa huddling down that right flank. Elmas. And here's Insigne. Insigne plays it out to the wing. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Looks to thread it through. Quadrado. Chiesa. Arthur. Dybala. And here's Morata. Now it's Rabio. Rabio gets flagged offside. Ospina sends that a long way. Politano. Zambo Anguisa. Elmas.
Insigne goes short. Elmas with the cross. Alexandro. It will be a throw in. Locatelli. Rabio has created one goal already. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And here's Morata. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And he has been fouled there. Politano, and the shot! <laughs> Insignia with the short one. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. Tempers are flaring, the referee really needs to get a grip again. Alexandro is there, and he can get that clear. Gets wrestled off the ball. And time is up. What a, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity. Truly deserving winners. After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Juventus were very impressive here, Peter. The backbone of this team was so strong, and it proved to be the decisive area. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.